Hi everybody, it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel, or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me. Sorry. Hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel, or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. I post Monday through Saturday, and today in this video I'm going to talk about my top 10 cooking mistakes. Now, I do cook. And I like to cook, but I'm some not a professional cook, just so you guys know. I make a lot of mistakes when it comes to cooking. I have made so many state mistakes throughout the years. And I, st I do know how to cook, but I still make mistakes and stuff like that whenever I cook. So I'm going to tell you guys some of the most common mistakes. These are I don't know if these are pretty common mistakes, but if you guys make these mistakes please be sure to let me know down in the comments below or if you have any other cooking mistakes that you've made please let me know down in the comments below um, because then I don't feel like I'm the only one who's made certain cooking mistakes but anyway here I'm gonna get started on my started because started and those for, for those who don't know I'm not a professional cook I like to cook I do cook and I like to cook but I get kind of nervous because I worry about making a mistake so I am a pretty slow cooker just so you guys know now, I have cooked a few recipes where I've accidentally cooked, screwed them up, or I've moved too fast and I screwed them up, or I moved too slow and I screw them up. So I'm going to get started. So number one, I just had to be using the wrong rice for porcupine meatballs. Now, I love porcupine meatballs. So the reason I call porcupine meatballs because they have rice sticking out of the ball, of the meatballs, like the porcupine. This is one of my favorite recipes. My mom, my grandma taught my mom. My mom taught me. And stuff. So one time I was making porcupine meatballs in my um, electric frying pan, and I was making them for dinner for my family because we call that our comfort meal. It's one of our favorite recipes. We've been making it for years. And so as we were cooking, so as I was cooking it, I accidentally wasn't paying attention, and I grabbed brown rice when I was supposed to use white, and I used the brown rice by mistake, and the meatballs had to cook longer. They still tasted really good, but. We had to cook the meatballs longer because I accidentally used brown rice instead of white rice, which was what I su was supposed to use. <laughs> Whoops, and so my whole family kind of had to wait a long time for dinner. Number two on my list, I'd be using steel-cut oats for cookies instead of basic oats. Okay, so one time I was baking a batch of oatmeal, almond, white chocolate chip cookies, and I couldn't find the oats that I had bought for the cookies. And I'm looking all over my... Um, how I'm looking all over my... Um, cabinet for the cookies and I can't find them anywhere and but um, as I go to find but as uh, but I'm like too lazy to move things around so I grab um, a jar of steel cut oats and I put them inside my cookies cookies and my cookies ended up like a little bit crispier than they were supposed to hoops oops and they were kind of hard too because of the steel cut oats were so round everybody kind of had a hard time eating them but they still tasted good even though I used the wrong oats Number three on my list would have to be making the butter too thick for cupcakes. Oh, the batter too thick for cupcakes. Okay, so I was baking cu cupcakes with my sister and her friends for my sister's friend's birthday. And as I was baking the cupcakes, I think what happened was, I don't remember what happened because this is so long ago. This was like when I was 17. Um, as I was um, making the batter, I accidentally made the batter too thick when it was supposed to be thin to pour in and the batter was way too thick so we had to add some more water and the cupcakes took a little bit longer to make whoops whoops but I don't but and to be fairly honest I can't remember if I mixed it for too long or if I accidentally put hard butter in it but the batter was just too thick I just don't remember what happened number four on my list would have to be burning peanut butter cookies okay so I was making a batch of peanut butter cookies one time and I was following the recipe but I wasn't but I didn't see that the pan was supposed to be ungreased so I accidentally put parchment paper on the pan pan and then I baked the cookies in the parchment paper but when I got the cookies out they were kind of burnt at the bottom whoops whoops because and then I looked at the recipe and it turned out I was supposed to not I was supposed to use an ungreased pan instead of a greased pan. Pan. Well, I didn't grease the pan. I just put parchment paper on it, but that still made them burn. Oops. Oops. I know that sound probably doesn't make any sense, but I think it was because the cookies had so much grease in them. Come for the butter. Number five on my and the peanut butter. Number five on my list would have to be forgetting to plug the crock pot in. Okay. So one time, sorry, I was distracted for a sec. One time. I was making, um, I was, uh, my mom asked me to plug our crock pot in, and then I didn't, and then I forgot, one time I, my mom asked me to plug the crock pot in, and I 
I was do, so busy doing chores or doing something else. I can't remember what I was doing, but I was so busy doing something else that I totally forgot that she asked me to plug the crock pot in. So we didn't get to have our dinner that night and we had to save the crock pot dinner for the next day. They whoops, <laughs> my bad. God, but I felt I'm glad we didn't waste that food though. Number six on my list had to be cooking pizza bites on a pan. Now, I make pepperoni pizza bites. I make them for, pretty much from scratch. I don't make the dough from scratch. I just buy the dough from um, the market and then I just make it with the dough from the market. And then um, I cooked them on a pan one time, but when I cooked them on the pan, the pizza bites exploded all over my pan. Even though I pressed the dough tightly, they still exploded all over my pan. And, um, I have tried several times cooking them on the pan and it just doesn't work because the cheese just explodes all over the pan and everywhere. So whenever I make pepperoni pizza bites, I have to cook them in a casserole dish instead of the instead of on a pan because like I noticed like they explode the cheese holds in better once they're cooked in the casserole dish. Number seven, I list have to be burning sugar. So one time I was making a batch of brownies and these were mint brownies from one of my baking books. And then I was making the brownies. I accidentally didn't see how long I had the, um, I didn't, I think the, the heating, I think the heat was too high or something. I can't remember. But I was cooking um, sugar in a pot and I accidentally think I had the, uh, the heat on too high. And it accidentally burned the sugar causing it to kind of caramelize when I wasn't supposed to burn the sugar. Sugar, whoops, my bad. Uh, the sugar was supposed to dissolve, not burn, Mina. You're a goofball. <laughs> I'm just, I'm kidding. I'm just being funny. Number eight on my list had to be using milk instead of cream for ganache. So one time I was making a batch of, um, so I made a batch of brownie ice cream bars for my coworkers because um, I was on a, um, a New Year's Eve trip with my coworkers that year, workers, and this was my first year at my job, and I was making brownie ice cream bars for all of my coworkers. And as I um, made it, uh, my mom and I realized we forgot to buy heavy cream for the ganache. So what we did was we decided to use a substitute, which was milk instead of cream. So we poured the milk, the, so we used the cream, we heated up the milk, put it in over the chocolate, and tried to mix it. It didn't end up being more like chocolate milk than like um, a heavy cream mix. So what we did next, we poured it over the ice cream bars. It didn't taste different different but it looked really hugging but it looked kind of weird on the brownie ice cream bars and it kind of like went everywhere and it was kind of liquidy and messy <laughs> oops so yeah I should have probably told my I should have gotten cream instead number eight nine on my list had to be burning pasta roni so one time I was making pasta roni for dinner and as I was cooking it I don't it, I finished cooking it I left it on the stove on accident and the stove wasn't on or anything but when I was, um, I left it on the stove, and I think the stove, the top of the stove was still pretty hot from when I was cooking on the stove. And then when I went to get the pasta roni out, it was kind of burnt at the bottom and stuck. Stuck, well, like, stuck, whoops. And I think what happened was I was supposed to take it off the stove when it was, um, so it wouldn't stick. Whoops. Number 10 on my list had to be burning rice aroni. So I have done this several, I've done this before. I burned rice aroni because, um, I, my mom asked me to cook some rice aroni and as I was cooking it, it kind of like, um, I think what happened was the same thing with the pasta roni was I think I had the heat on too high and I wasn't paying attention to the directions because I didn't know how to read directions very well that time because I was still learning how to cook. And when I think what happened was when it, that when I had the heat on too high, it burnt the pasta roni at the bottom. So some of the pasta roni got, not pasta roni, excuse me, rice roni, I'm sorry. The rice roni got stuck at the bottom of the pot, pot and I, we couldn't get it out. Oh, so yeah, note to self, pay attention to how high the heat's supposed to be. Okay, so those are my top 10 cooking mistakes. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post Monday through Saturday, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!